everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite action figure review and it is a special one because, uh, because today we have a brand new exclusive for you guys and that is the ringside exclusive WWE Elite NXT TakeOver Walter figure and I am super excited for this. First time in the line for Walter, never had a basic, a battle pack, anything and I think a lot of people have been waiting on Walter for a very long time. You know, every time we would talk about figures we would want or figures we want to see at certain toy cons and SDCC and and ringside fest we always discussed about Walter and here he is in the flesh they announced him a couple months ago you know we took a look at the images in an in a updated news video and here he is in the flesh I can't wait to get into it one thing I'll say is I'm actually worried because of the way he is packaged I love the way he's packaged any mock collectors are gonna love the way he's packaged right here but I'm afraid that when we take him out I hope that it's not so tight back there that his shoulders are like compressed so when you let them loose they're gonna be super duper loose and loosey-goosey garbage hopefully that's not the case for us guys but let's go ahead and take a look at Walter. He looks great. UK Championship, front viewing window, ringside exclusive sticker down here. Down here you get Walter in a nice steel font. WWE logo. I love the flames going around this like black bricky background. Looks really, really good. On the side you have an image of Gru right there. You got WWE Elite logo. Other side you got another in-ring shot of the ring general. On the back you have Walter with the UK title. If you guys would like to read this bio right here, you can pause it right now. The Austrian anomaly looking really good. On the top it does have an NXT TakeOver New York sticker or not a sticker but you know it's it's not even embossed it's just printed on the box. Mattel logo here if you went to this event you probably want to grab this thing and if you would like to grab this thing go over to Ringside Collectibles guys use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Tons of great figures exclusive stuff such as this and just a lot of good stuff. Go, oh look at that one that one's not printed on the box they haven't done that in forever it's an actual sticker. Well let's not F it up. But anyways guys let's go ahead and crack Walter out of the packaging and see what this mofo is all about. All right, guys, so here is Walter out of the packaging, and one thing I do want to point out immediately is if you guys will notice, it comes with another background. So this is what? The Edge Heads exclusive, the Fiend, or not the Fiend, but the regular Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt and the Walter have all come with this cardboard big stand background. So I'm guessing that that's going to be a continued thing. You know, I didn't really think about it. You guys can see here the size of it and the length and the width of the thing there. So I'm guessing this is going to be a continuing force with the Ringside exclusive, which is fine with me. I think it looks cool. You know, I'm not going to necessarily use it per se, but it could use for a great background, you know, up on the shelf. You put this on the top shelf, you know, you put the background up, you put him with his accessories. Maybe when we get Imperium and the rest of them, we could put him up next to other guys. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. I think this is cool for any loose collector, especially, and stuff like that. But what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to dive into Walter's accessories, and then we're going to run it back and look at Walter himself. So, with that being said, guys, let's dive into Walter's accessories and see if this ringside exclusive can live up to the hype of others past. So, for this Walter figure, guys, you don't get a ton, but I think what you do get is it does work out well. So the first figure's uh, accessories that we get, guys, is the UK Championship. I think he's actually coming up on Pete Dunne's, you know, record, his world record for the longest UK title reign. It may even be broken by now. I know he's coming up on it for sure, but the UK Championship looks good. It's actually in a matte color. It's not the same as years past. You guys know with the really shiny version, this is a matte version, but it's not like dull, like a flat championship like you get out of a battle pack or a basic. It actually looks better than that. It kind of reminds me of the new SmackDown tag titles that we got with Kofi Kingston, that's kind of what it reminds me of. Kind of like a like a matte finish over the title, but it still looks really, really clean. Makes it look deluxe, if you will. I like it a lot. I think it looks clean. UK title looking very good. Next up, he would not be Walter without some interchangeable hands. Now, out of the packaging, he does come with mic holding hands, and then the interchangeable hands are going to be his knife edge chop hands, where he will slap your mom's face off of her titties, Brad. The chops that Walter brings is absolutely ridiculous, and I think you're going to get that with this figure. So, one thing I will say is, you guys know, I usually call these the Kawhi Leonard hands. And that's because if you don't know who Kawhi Leonard is, he is a basketball player, and his hands are known to be massive. He's called the claw for a reason, because his hands are massive. So I call these the Kawhi Leonard hands. You guys know they gave they give them to him to ricochet. They give it to a, a lot of people now. And the hands are always way too big. But I think for Walter, this actually will work out, because he's a big dude, and his hands are big. So I think this will actually work out for a Walter figure. So I'm glad that we got both sets of there. And, you know, he can he can also do the DX crotch chop if you want him to. But knife edge chop hands are fantastic. Fantastic. And then the last accessory that we have is his in-ring general coat or jacket, robe, whatever the hell you want to call it. So on the inside, it does have this like white piping that looks good on the back. It does have a ring general on the back. It is a solid black color, but I think it fits the character, you know? He's a pretty plain Jane character, you know? He, he's not the, the the most like fantastic as far as looks goes because it's just black trunks. He wears black robes and black trunks and black boots. But putting this on the figure, we're going to find out how the robe fits the figure 
together and see if it's worth a nilly. So here's Walter in his coat, and I think it fits well. I like the white trim that we got going on with the collar and everything. It looks like the length is all good and stuff. I like it a lot. I think it fits it. And you're you're on crack cocaine if you don't think this man looks like Gru from from Despicable Me, man. He just looks like him, especially with the I don't know. It just fits perfectly. I think that's his name, isn't it? Gru. Anyways, there's Walter in his robe, and that's pretty much it for Walter's accessories, man. Not not a lot, but the stuff we do get is quality. And with Walter, what do you need? You know what what do you need? Maybe an interchangeable head sculpt if you want, but the man really doesn't change expression, so I think it all works out. But uh, let's take a closer look at Walter himself. So diving into Walter's head sculpt, guys, I like it. I think it definitely captures his likeness. Uh, one thing I am noticing is I'm getting like some nicks and crannies on his head sculpt. You got one there, you got one there. He's got some like schmutz over here on his cheek, on his nose and everything, so that's kind of bummerific. But I still like the head sculpt. I like the hair sculpt. I like paint apps on the hair. It looks really good. Um, again, I just think I think this is a really strong head sculpt. I think Mattel did a really excellent job with this. I like it a lot. And overall, it's it's a good one. I like it a lot. And going down into the torso, we do have a Samoa Joe torso. Now, I think this works out great. He also has Samoa Joe shoulders and arms, and they are bare arms because, you know, he doesn't wear any wrist tape or anything, so that makes sense, right? So that is that. I think that works out good. You know, he he's, a, he's an oddly shaped man, honestly. He has like a wide torso, but then really long legs, so I think they did an excellent job capturing that. Down into the trunks, guys, it kind of looks like he's wearing a diaper, and when I say diaper and I think of Walter and I look at Walter, he reminds me of that big baby from, I think it was Tommy's Dream from Rugrats. I want to say it was a dream. It may not have been a dream, but if I can find an image of the baby, I'll pull it up on the screen. That's just what I'm thinking of. When I look at this figure and I look at the diaper type, like, crotch that they gave him right here, I think this is an Andre crotch, if I'm not mistaken. It may not be, but it actually may be a Samoa... No, it's not a Samoa Joe torso. It's not a Samoa Joe crotch, so it may be a brand new crotch, but this diaper stuff is giving me, like, Rugrats vibes, but it's in a black color. It's got the white stripes. It's got the ring general really nicely printed on there. By the way, I do like the skin tone of the figure. I think it matches Walter pretty good. I, I don't think they made him too light or dark. I think it's a perfect match. It's like the Daniel Bryan skin tone. Down into the legs, this is very interesting. They, I, I can't remember if they've done these legs before. They almost look kind of like cane legs, but they're not. They're they're skinnier than cane legs, and it may be a new thigh mold. We may be having a new thigh mold right here, but I feel like these thighs would be perfect for like a Eugene figure or, or other customs that you could probably do, and they are on ball joints, so that is excellent news. He can't do the splitsies that, that much, and when he kicks forward, it's kind of off to the side, so if they didn't put this guy on ball joints, this figure would be impossible to pose around, so I'm really glad they put him on ball joints right there, but he is on ball joints. I'm going to do another triple check right there, but yeah, it does look like he is on ball joints. You'd love to see that. I like the black socks with the white stripes. You got the long black boots that are, you know, fantastic on Walter himself, but that is pretty much the figure, man. Not, you know, not a ton of stuff. I think my chest cavity just exploded, but not a tough, you know, not a ton of stuff going on with it, but let's get into some Walter Elite figure comparisons. So for your Walter Elite figure comparisons, guys, I did want to do a quick run through and show you guys like the height difference between them. I do want to lower this a little bit just so we can get like a straight on eye view of it that way. You know, it's not deceiving from the angle there. And here is what Finn Balor looks like up next to Walter. I think that looks good. I'm sure we're going to get this viewed immediately when, you know, he can actually fly to the U.S. and we can get Finn Balor healthy and we can get all those things figured out. I think we will have these guys in a feud here, but there is Walter up next to Finn Balor. If you guys wanted to see what Pete Dunne looked like up next to Walter, there you go right there. And by the way, I don't have the Tyler Bate figure. I like made mine into a custom weirdy thing, so I don't really have a Tyler, or the, I don't have the ringside exclusive Tyler Bate anymore, but there's a, there's a height difference between Walter and Pete Dunne. Here's a height difference between Brock Lesnar and Walter. If you guys wanted to see these guys up next to each other, here's a height difference between Seth Rollins and Walter. And then getting into the really big guys, here is Braun Strowman up next to Walter, like towers over him. Jesus Christ. So there, there's that. If you guys wanted to see Big Braun up next to Big Wall. You got the Elite Big Show, which is pretty similar in height there. You got Kane, who's a little bit shorter and comes down a little bit more. And then finally for our figure comparisons, here is Undertaker up next to Walter, if you guys wanted to see that. I wanted to show this off so you guys could see for fed stuff or stop motion or anything like that. You guys can get a good idea of, you know, Walter and what he looks like up next to the rest of your collection and everything. But that pretty much does it for your Walter Elite figure your comparisons. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it for the Ringside Exclusive Walter Elite Figure Review. I hope you guys did enjoy. Overall, really great figure. I think it replicates Walter perfectly in figure form. That's what I always strive for with my WWE action figures is I want the figure to replicate what that guy looks like in real life, and I think this does a really insane job of that. I think they did an excellent job on this figure. I probably said excellent a lot in this figure, but you know what, Brian? I don't give a damn. I think it looks good. If you guys would like to grab it, go to Ringside Exclusives. You idiot.
idiot, you dumb jackass. Go to ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would highly recommend it if you're a UK fan, if you're an NXT UK fan. If you like Walter, you hate Walter, you want Walter, you need Walter, go get this man because it is a damn good ringside exclusive. And I think I like it's definitely it definitely kicks the shit out of the out of the Firefly Funhouse break. And it damn sure knife edge chops the edge figure we got. So this has been this is a really good ringside exclusive. And I'm guaranteeing at Ringside Fest on Thursday, we are going to get new information about a new upcoming ringside exclusive. So stay tuned for that news. Can't wait to get into that with you guys. It's gonna be around 2 p.m., 3 p.m. on Thursday. So stay tuned. But thank you guys for watching. Gotta get into the shout out from our last video, so stay tuned. So a huge shout out to Unofficial Wrestling Station for this comment on our last video. He says, when you did not get shouted out by MDT, it should have been me. Referring to Dolph Ziggler when he was, uh, you know, feuding with Kofi Kingston, which was a fantastic build, by the way. They did a really excellent job, even though that's that's the, all the damn man said, but god dang, I love Dolph Ziggler, man. How close was he to winning that MDT championship, bro? Holy crap, he was super duper close. Couldn't get the job done, and uh, I guess he felt like it should have been him, too, when, when CM Punk won that battle royal. He was like, oh, hell no, and then he took him out, and then he lost, but you know what, Brad? Maybe we'll get a follow-up to that on MDT Live episode 16, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Huge shout-out to Unofficial Wrestling Station for that comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.